Josh just showing how to record your own vocal and um, basically Pro Tools or any other software without actually having a track enabled. Um, so I don't have anything record enabled in Pro Tools right now, as you can see. Uh, a little text message there. But anyway, um, nothing's record enabled. So everything is basically just going straight from my interface. In this case, it's an Apogee Ensemble straight in the screen flow. And what I'm doing is I'm just recording a 57 into a preamp into the converter essentially and screen flow is listening to whatever's going into the converter now in terms of the computer audio the way i have it set up you can see here there's a little screenshot since it's grayed out um, the way i have it set up is that it's just listening to the music or any sound coming through my ensemble my computer sound is actually coming through um, the ensemble and then into a summing mixer which is pumping back into the ensemble the reason I do that is because when I mix, I use a summing mixer um, whereby I just, you know, I can have everything basically edited and mixed together, rough in Pro Tools, go into the summing mixer, do actual mixing, and then pump it back out into the ensemble, and I just print it all in this uh, bounce field here. It's a sum to bounce bus and it just goes straight in there and works perfectly for me every time yeah i don't have faster than real time bounce when i'm in pro tools 11 but um the sound makes up for it if i were doing some post stuff i really wouldn't care but it's music and i want to get as much as i can out of it so just to show you how it works with pro tools i'm going to jump in here and just play this uh solo part for you <laughs> It's also in stereo, obviously, if you cared. Um, I'm going to start at this wall part, and the wall should actually be on your left. So here it is. Help me try all my tears and help me and lick all my fears and help me. So there you go. It's all playing. You got the, the trail of the delay also in there. It works great. This whole setup is perfect. The only downside, I would say, is the inability to listen to what I'm actually saying. Um, so I actually can't hear myself talking right now, but when I go into edit, I could obviously hear. The, the reason I know that there's even audio coming in is because on the face of my interface, I do have a VU, which is um, showing me that there's actually audio coming in and on my preamp too, so everything's all right. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll be more than glad to answer them.